Welcome to this Life Commerce exercise on setting up the platform. The main objectives for this exercise are starting up an instance of Life DXP with Life Commerce installed and to create a site using the Minium Denimo site template. We are going to create a Life Ray Bundles folder and unzip the Life Ray Bundle in there. We're going to start the Life Ray Tomcat Bundle. We're going to deploy an activation key. We're going to complete the Life Ray Setup Wizard as an administrator from Minium Automotive. We're going to shut down the Life Ray DXP instance. Then we're going to deploy the Commerce LPKG file with an activation key. We're going to complete the Life Ray Commerce installation process. And then we're going to create a site using the Minium Demo site template. For the bonus exercises, you can explore the general section and change the main domain to use minium.com. You can also go back to the instance settings and choose which language to use in the platform in localization. So the first thing we're going to do is create a life rate bundles folder and we're going to unzip the life rate bundle into that folder. So go ahead and go to your home directory on a Linux or, or Unix system and then go into or create a life rate folder here and create a new folder called bundles. So on a Windows machine, this would be C drive life rate bundles. Once you're in there, go and grab your life ray bundle. And then we can unzip it. Now, once that's unzipped, you can use terminal. Here I'm using iTerm, it's the same as terminal. And I'm just going to go to my home directory, then life ray bundles. I'll just tab that out. And I'm going to go to Tomcat and the bin folder. Once I'm here, I'm just going to run catalina.sh run. Can even remove this. Okay. So on a Windows machine, you're going to double click startup.bat in the same directory. And that will essentially perform the same thing. You'll get a window pop up and you'll be able to see life rate booting up as we see here. So once we see this message appear, server startup, then we're ready to go. Then we navigate to localhost on port 8080 and we should come up with this screen. Now this page will also launch automatically, but if it doesn't for you, just go to this page, this address, and you should get it. At this point, I'm also going to go and deploy my activation key. So go into my bundle and go to the deploy folder and just copy that in there. If we go back to terminal, we should see that it's now processing the key. There we go. Validation passed. We can now go ahead and set up the basic configuration for the portal. So for the portal name, we're going to use Minium. For the administrator first name, we're going to use Frank. Last name, Bishop. And for the email address, frank.bishop at minium.com. Hit finish configuration. So we're just going to set this up at the default hypersonic database. Agree to the terms and conditions create a new password. And now we've set up the portal. Okay, so now we need to install LifeRay Commerce, shut down the running LifeRay instance. So to do this, I'm just going to open up a new tab. You can do this in terminal as well and just navigate to the same directory that we've run this from, that's Tomcat bin directory. And then if we run the shutdown.sh, that's going to go ahead and cleanly shut down the portal for us. There we are, now we have a command prompt back. Okay, so now we need to install commerce. So go to our commerce package, 
So we're just going to drag this over into our deploy folder. And I'm also going to copy my license in there as well. Now we're going to start Life with DXP again. This also might take a couple of minutes. In the terminal here, we can see the license has been registered for Life for Commerce, which is great. It also informs us that we need to restart to complete the installation of the Commerce LPKG. Once again, I'm just going to go and shut down the bundle. Firstly, just make sure that it's finished booting up. Doesn't seem to be continuing with anything. And now let's start it up again. So now we are logged in as our administrator, Frank Bishop, and now we're going to go and create the Minium Automotive site using the site accelerator that comes bundled with Life for Commerce. So to do that, we need to go to our control panel here on the left-hand side. And we go down to sites and click the sites setting here. And with the add button here on the top right-hand side, we can go ahead and add a new site with the site template Minium Demo. And for the name, we're going to say Minium Automotive. And hit save. So this is going to take a couple of seconds while it creates all the pages and products that we need for the Minium Automotive site. And now it's created. So hit just hit save there. And let's navigate back to the site just to confirm that everything has worked. We need to navigate over to my sites, Minium Automotive. And here we can see the dashboard.